In this episode, I want to talk about stoicism and you. I think for a lot of people, the ability to be potentially swayed at any given moment, uh, via emotionally, via objectivity potentially, um, but it's too high. The old saying, if you don't stand for something, then you'll fall for nothing. And this is never more evident than in potentially fitness or nutrition when people are easy, easily swayed by documentaries. This is never more um, obvious when uh, people are super happy after let's say a promotion. How you doing? Um, it's never more obvious than when people who get a demotion or um, lose their job um, all of a sudden change personalities and go into depression. What were you before? Your job does not define you, at least it shouldn't, um, and being independent of your circumstances, at least the ones that you can control, um, and if you can, if you can control those circumstances, um, that's a Lamborghini. If you can't control those circumstances and you're not changing them, then that's just, that's your own fault. But if you can control the circumstances and you can change it, then that's part of stoicism, right? Because then you're doing something about those things of which you can control. And then on the other side, if you can't control those circumstances, uh, those things that are beyond your control, then that's time to let them go. And I think this um, transparently has hit home for me a lot. I think it's very easy to be victims to play the, the, the comparison game. Oh, I'm not as good as so-and-so who has uh, 4X uh, the bigger gym and clients. And I'm not as good of a speaker and my body fat isn't as good. The comparison game, you just lose. So going back to the, this concept of stoicism and being independent of your circumstances, um, uh, or excuse me, having your happiness be independent of your circumstances. And I think that's a super, super um, important concept because if you can remain independent um, of other people's thoughts, feelings, etc., and yet remain open to change, to adopting different habits, protocols, um, thought processes, um, learning new things, um, I think then you win. And that's when the stoicism really comes into play. And it's, a, it's quite a journey, I gotta be honest again transparently because uh, I'm still learning about it, still learning a ton about stoicism and about how to keep yourself independent about how much money you make. Um, you know, for instance, your workouts. Let's talk about workouts. How many of you ever had a bad workout and you're like, gosh, I just didn't have it today. Well, guess what? I'm going to tell you right now that probably four out of five workouts that I have, I'm like, that suck. But what do you do? You just you keep moving. And I think the, the trouble going back to expectations and also just being independent of your circumstances. I think the trouble is, is to, that we compare ourselves to this incomparable pursuit of perfection. And it's, it's paralyzing. And I, I just being honest with you. Because then you're like, what do I do? What do I, if I'm not perfect, what do I do? Perfection is so far off. Did you know that the, uh, um, the show Billions, which is a hit, you know, massive hit, massive viewer ratings, etc wasn't seen really outside of New York and LA. Why is that? In Connecticut, right? So East Coast, West Coast. No, the country doesn't know what a billionaire is. They've never met a billionaire. They don't know what it takes to get to be a billionaire. So if it's that far off, this game of perfection, this game of crazy numbers, why are we pursuing it? That's my question for you guys today. Can we become Stoics? Yes, I'm taking an elevator. Otherwise, I'll be winded by the time I get to the top. By the way, this is the world's smallest, this is my elevator. Um, if we could be independent, and how our happiness be independent of our finances, of our of the weather. Okay, please stop talking about the weather, please. Um, those are the first steps. Those are the first steps. And then, you know, I, I, I know too many stories of, of people who, they got married, they had no money. I know plenty of those stories of the people who had no money then when they got married. And now they have two houses, three houses. And in between though, they stayed independent. They're just as happy now as when they were when they got married. There's no difference in the amount of happiness. They are the same people. And just more, you know, business successful. So for you, on your approach towards being successful, preparing yourself for the road ahead. Try that stoic thought. Can I be independent? Can my happiness 
Be independent of my circumstances. Can I be bulletproof? What do you think? That's all I got. Have a great day.